Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences. Today we are going to learn how can we hack and automate the messaging on Facebook or Facebook Messenger. Right? So for that you have to have a Facebook account as well. And before that we jump into uh, into coding straightforwardly. Let's read what we are um, what tools we are going to use today. So we are going to use PyAuto GUI. Um, this is a Python library that we are going to use for for today. And here is the link to its documentation. If we go to its its documentation, it's it's really um, a useful library. And here it says that how you can install it. Pip install PyAuto GUI and um, if you want to read full documentation you can go over there and you know a lot of um, other stuff is available um, so here is I mean basically it is it is used for keyboard and mouse control right so uh, if you want to make uh, your keyboard and mouse control automated you can make use of this library right so uh, let's say if you import it and you want to get uh, screen width and height this is how you can get it if you want to get current uh, location of your mouse cursor this is how you can do it uh, if you can move you want to move the cursor of your mouse to some certain pixels or certain certain location certain co coordinates uh, this is how you can you uh, you, ca you can do that you you all you have to, uh, to do is you have to make use of this dot move to function right and a lot of a lot of other things are also uh, uh, available i mean dot click function is available dot move dot double click function is also available we are going to ma uh, make use of these two functions dot write and dot press by by making use of these two functions we are going to um, automate the facebook messaging this this is going to be really a basic video basic level video and you can add a lot of fancy stuff into it according to your um, your need right so first thing first this is this is this is how you can install this library um, magic sign or you can say exclamation mark and then pip install pi auto gui awesome great and then uh, i have already installed it installed it so i'm not going to install it again and then it says um we are we are importing this pi auto gui over here and then the the cool stuff is coming over here so now first of all you have to um you have to write i mean uh, you have to do one thing you have to open your facebook account in parallel let's say this is my account and also you have to open someone's uh, messenger uh, right so let's say if i open ai sciences messenger like this right so here it is right okay so by the way this is ai sciences page on on facebook you can visit it, you visit it and uh, there are links in description you can visit our website as well if you want to start your career in python artificial intelligence data science domain um, also computer vn nlp and a lot of others other fancy stuff is available you can check it out we have a lot of courses for for the beginners who want to start their career in artificial intelligence or data science domain right so now what we want to do is let's say we want to uh, schedule uh, multiple messages to AI sciences I mean you can do it uh, to your friend you can do it to your your company or, or anyone you want right according to your need again I said so let's say I want to send uh, three messages to AI sciences right with the time difference of uh, uh, of uh, ten five seconds right so let's say for I in range so here I'll say three right I, if I want to send three messages I want this to repeat for three times and then first of all I'll say time dot sleep so here you will put your time in terms of seconds right um, the the delay that that you want to have in your your uh, messages so then we'll say pi auto yeah pi auto gui dot type right right so here we are going to write our message so I'll say just testing right so this is my message and then I'll say by auto GUI dot press right and here I'll say enter right so what it will do it what it will do is it will actually uh, write this just testing text right wherever the cursor will be at that time and then it will 
hit the enter button right so this is actually what happens if I want to write a message I'll, I'll let's say write a message and then I'll if I hit the enter button it will send the message right so let me open this um, tab in parallel and open this code in parallel as well so that we can have a good visual right so now I'm going to run this part of code this tab of code um, and if when I'll run it I'll, I'll quickly go towards this tab and I'll click over here so that my cursor comes over here so that whenever after the sleep of 10 uh, or sleep of 5 seconds whenever it will start writing it will start writing over here right so uh, let me run it let me come oh so it says that time is not oh yeah I'm adding sleep over here so I should also import time li library as well great so let me run it again Okay, and I should uh, quickly click over here and it will wait for uh, like five seconds and here, here you can see that just testing is sent again it will wait for five seconds the second text is also sent and here you can see that it is still running so here we go so last or the third text is also sent over here and the execution you can see that it has stopped so this is something that we wanted to do um, now um, uh, by the way, do you know, just for your information, do you know what was the first, um, you can say, the error or um, the first thing that helped hackers to hack the computer? It was nothing. It was just a, um, it was just a while loop that runs for forever in the computer. So let's say if you print something, uh, let's say if, if you print, um, let's say nothing, right? So if uh, somehow forcefully you make your computer or anyone's computer uh, execute this this command forcefully, right? Now compilers are very intelligent. They stop the the these sort of things by themselves, right? So uh, if somehow forcefully you you make this statement run in someone's computer, so since um, this statement uh, processor will be busy in running this statement so processor will not be doing anything else so in other words you can say that computer is hacked um, now since processors are also doing multitasking or threading or stuff like that so there are you know very few chances of happening that so if you want to you know annoy your friend or something like that you can just do something like while while true so this will you know keep sending the messages and if you make sleep to let's say two second or even one second uh, then it will it will keep sending the messages right uh, which is quite annoying or you can say that um, partially you have hacked someone's uh, messenger right because uh, if someone is, will, will keep receiving a lot of messages um, probably the, his, his messenger will not be able to do uh, a lot of other stuff so this was this was um, the agenda that we met today and uh, hope to see you in next video thank you